Hello guys, it's uh, Blij uh, from uh, Bulls Rock Adventures and uh, what you see behind me it's a really really big uh, huge rather uh, Lake Ontario so that will give you a clue uh, I'm actually uh, in Canada uh, Ontario this lake is really really big eh? and uh, today we're not gonna talk about uh, lake we're gonna talk about uh, something uh, much uh, smaller but uh, very very cool and uh, what we're gonna talk about today is uh, this so what I got uh, in my hand is uh, 110 folding hunter it's a knife in this uh, beautiful uh, leather pouch let me take it out I'm pretty sure you're gonna like it because I do there you go look at this cool cool knife made by uh, Buck a US company and uh, it's a really really uh, cool knife so let's go over a little bit uh, let me try to explain a few things uh, thanks God it's not too wavy otherwise you would not hear a shit what I'm saying uh, it's a calm evening and uh, let's talk about the buck knife uh, 110 folding hunter now this knife as name says it's a folding knife really really cool knife beautiful knife extremely sharp like a razor believe me and it's gonna stay sharp for a long long time so what is cool about this knife is uh, everything the way it's made uh, looks really cool it's very friendly and usable for everything you can easily call this uh, everyday knife uh, sits really nicely in your hand uh, nice and heavy really really good knife one of the best uh, selling knives uh, not just in uh, North America uh, all together and it's uh, made this design is made in uh, 1963 by Buck company and uh, they were looking for a not big clumsy knife something much uh, you know smaller that you can fit uh, in your pocket or something that would take less uh, space and they come up with this uh, folding knife uh, at the back there is a lever once you squeeze that it will snap back and then you open up back snaps very nicely but you know what I like about this knife is uh, the, the actual uh, handle the actual handle is made for uh, ebony tree and uh, ebony tree this part here ebony tree is uh, something uh, cool again very authentic to the buck knives uh, it's a tree also called back black tree that uh, grows in tropical countries and the best quality tree is uh, from uh, Africa itself uh, what's uh, so unique about the tree is uh, once you cut it inside it's actually black uh, something similar uh, not quite but the most similar thing would be what we have here in North America is uh, black walnut it's a really really cool uh, tree uh, because once you uh, cut it in half 
uh, it is actually dark uh, brown or black inside and uh, that what uh, gives this uh, really cool handle uh, it's a very dense tree it's a uh, most expensive tree in Africa and uh, it's very expensive altogether uh, it's uh, very dense very heavy it's twice as dense as uh, twice as dense as uh, oak tree and what's cool about it once it's polished up it's almost like a synthetic material like a metal or plastic it's completely shiny and that's another thing is why every knife is authentic to itself because uh, the actual uh, wood handle has uh, natural uh, features uh, created by nature so not uh, one knife is the same handle uh, it has uh, authentic features to itself same as this one and I'm uh, very happy uh, to have it like I said it's it's a very usable knife uh, for uh, you know everyday uh, needs and uh, if you go back to the buck as uh, as an uh, industry as uh, you know knife uh, making uh, uh, you know uh, elegance uh, let's say uh, it's really cool if you go generations back and back uh, pretty much uh, back to the uh, 19th century early 20th century uh, it all started by uh, young enthusiastic uh, willing to learn and explore apprentice uh, blacksmith apprentice and when he was only uh, 12 uh, 13 years old he pursued he tried to uh, uh, imagine at that age he tried to learn how to you know achieve uh, better uh, physical properties properties for the for the steel and the very first knives uh, they were made uh, out of the old uh, files and uh, what uh, he done back by that time uh, he actually heat treat steel now heat treat steel means uh, which is uh, still in use today heating steel heat treat steel means uh, in simple terms uh, heating up uh, steel until it's uh, cherry red and then uh, uh, suddenly uh, cooling down in uh, oil most of the time uh, this way once steel is heat up and cools down rapidly you will trap that uh, crystal or molecular structure uh, you will capture that that was changed and uh, once uh, process is done uh, the actual Canadian geese say eh? hello getting some company from uh, Canadian geese so when process is done you're gonna end up with a steel that is actually much uh, much uh, harder uh, this is also done with a stainless steel used by buck, buck knives and uh, that's why your cutting edge is very very sharp and it's gonna stay sharp for a long time you know imagine this uh, you know the actual stainless steel uh, for the ni uh, buck knives uh, blade blades it's uh, 58 uh, Rockwells uh, by uh, Rockwell scale that's uh, incredibly tough uh, almost like a tool steel it's very very tough uh, so it's very very uh, uh, reliable Another thing uh, about uh, buck uh, knives that you might didn't know is uh, the actual. Let me bring this uh, closer. The actual stamp. Look at this brass, beautiful. The actual stamp buck. Uh, initially, it was stamped uh, leather by leather. Uh, every uh, leather one stamp. Uh, later on they made a standard uh, stamp where it says actually buck in the one stamp and uh, it uh, stay like that uh, for years and years now when we're talking about uh, 
ebony tree uh, originally when they made these knives when they came out this design uh, 1963 again uh, after some point uh, it became a uh, uh, issue with supply with uh, ebony tree and uh, they start using uh, more like a uh, you know treated wood synthetic material for the handle but effective uh, 2019 they figured out the supply and then they started using ebony tree again as a handle and you know what this knife is really really if you would have this knife if you would buy it i think it's about 60 70 bucks now uh you will not regret one cent because it's a really uh, i said that million times already in this video it's a it's a fucking really cool knife eh? and you will have that for a lifetime it's made very smooth all these corners edges everything is smooth very very friendly to keep it in your hand and like i said comes with a nice leather sheet you can put it back in and you can put it in your pocket well guys i hope uh, I manage uh, to you know kind of give you an insight about uh, this knife uh, lately I, be, I made a few videos about the knives I never actually intended uh, to make uh, any videos like that but uh, you know knives are like uh, other stuff uh, you know there is a lot of knives but uh, not all of them are the ones that you actually like so the very few I have, I actually really like them and uh, I wanted to share this video with you. And before it gets uh, dark, we are in uh, November and uh, you know what, it's not that late afternoon, but uh, you know what, in a few more minutes you will not see me without flashlight on this video. So I'm gonna wrap this up and uh, I, hope, uh, I hope you like it. Uh, please uh, subscribe and uh, you can always go back and see my other videos about other knives and uh, about uh, other things that I do on my lifestyle let's say uh, enjoy huge Lake Ontario uh, behind me and uh, thank you again and uh, don't forget to subscribe <laughs>